Yeah, it's the it's the dream. I'm living the dream for sure. Yeah, I, I'm playing a character that I never thought I could um, would, would, would given the opportunity to play. So, yeah, it's a very dark and, and uh, mysterious character until he lets loose. They have to enjoy it for so many different reasons. So actually, it's a it's a tough question um, because there's so much to offer. I mean, there's so much passion and intimacy and intensity uh, in the film that you're going to leave this film feeling some crazy emotion. You're going to hate me. You're going to love Jennifer. And then you're going to want to see some scenes back and back and back and back and replay them a couple times. You'll know what I'm talking about after. No rehearsals. I think we all kind of knew what we were doing. Um, but we did... Uh, kind of do a game plan. We, we figured out exactly, you know, what's right for the, the character and, and how passionate we can make the, the love scene so that it does make sense that Noah is going to turn into this crazy person. Yeah, yeah. But that's the, that's the tough part as well, too, because the, the, the tough part in, in doing that kind of scene is my character had to teach her that this is right, and this is, is so right that she needs to stay. So uh, she, he had the, the chance to make her forget everything and just live in the moment. And by having to do that, he has to go the extra mile and please her in so many different you know, venues and, and be so passionate that uh, she doesn't question anything. Yeah, there was many different scenes that were that were way more challenging than the intimate scene because, I mean, the intimate scene was just nerve-wracking. But I'm having plenty of people tell me exactly what to do and where to go. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was a collaborative effort, man. Um, but yeah, there were so many different other scenes where, you know, even the days where I had to flip-flop back and forth from being a good guy to a bad guy and, and making it look natural rather than, you know, such a hard cut and hard transition. Um, you had to see the progression of the character that the whole time. And uh, Rob Cohen, my amazing director, he guided me throughout the whole film. The trust he had in me. Uh, I, never, I never thought that I would get that. Um, I always, um, I'm under the uh, assumption that you know, directors are just going to tell me what to do but he actually gave me the opportunity to express what I wanted from Noah and then guide me in what he wanted to see out of what I was doing. I learned that she's a great person. Yeah, uh, there's no diva quality. Uh, she's, she is where she is for a reason. She's a hard worker, and she does like to, you know, live in, in a life of luxury, but at the same time, she's a genuine person. And uh, she's, a, she's a mother of two and uh, a very respectful um, person. No, I definitely want to be an actor. That's for sure. I mean, that was, uh, that was my mentality, I think, during Step as well. I think it's just a lot of people thought that I was a dancer rather than an actor. But I would learned dancing for the film because I am an actor trying to act like I can dance. So um, everything, you know, started with Step Up Revolution or Step Up 4. And uh, that's, if you want to see where I, my, my acting start, that, that's the film. It's, it's cool to kind of say, that's my first acting job ever. And now to see the progression, and now you're going to see this film, and you're going to see that, no, I'm, I'm trying to increase and grow and become something you'll, you'll never expect and show different varieties and sides of my own self and psyche and emotions. Well, uh, luckily enough for me, I was uh, I literally hopped off set from Step Up All In and flew out from 9 o'clock in the morning in Vegas right onto the Boy Next Door set that same day and went straight into filming off pretty much little to no sleep. Uh, and my body was so in shape because of the dancing and the Step Up, you know, um, that all I really had to do was eat a lot and do a couple push-ups and sit-ups, and I was there. I was set. The next move for me... Actually, I have a couple movies coming out. Um, aside from this one, I have a Richard Linklater movie that's uh, coming out uh, this year uh, called That's What I'm Talking About. I play a 1980s baseball collegiate player. 
Uh, and then I have uh, Gem and the Holograms that's coming out after that where it's a live action remake of the 1980s cartoon and I play Rio. Um, so I'm showing different sides, man. It's, it's amazing. It's a comedy, too. So it, every scene for me was, was laugh out loud funny because I, I just enjoyed it so much. It's a 12-man ensemble. So we were bouncing ideas off of each other, and we turned, a, you know, I think a 126-page script or 130-page script into like a 150-page script, wow. you know, because we were writing so much stuff. And Richard, you know, gave us the opportunity to embellish on our characters.